It began with a dream, not the metaphorical kind, but a vivid, unsettling vision of a coming war that jolted me awake in the dead of night. I'm Greg Lummison, and for the past three years I've been grappling with turning that haunting vision into a tangible reality, not through conflict, but through creation. Writing a book had always been a distant ambition of mine, something I tucked away for retirement, but that dream, it went away. It demanded to be explored, expanded, and brought to life in ways that I hadn't imagined. What started as words in a notebook has now expanded to over 130,000 of them across 37 chapters and evolved into something far more complex. A video game concept, an audiobook in the making, intricate concept art, each new aspect of this project has pushed me beyond my comfort zone, forcing me to acquire skills I never thought I'd need. There's a certain irony in creating a fictional world inspired by the specter of war while waging my own battles against self-doubt and the limits of my abilities. Every line of code written for the game, every hour spent refining my voice for the audiobook, every frustrating attempt at translating my mind's eye into digital art. They've all been skirmishes in a larger campaign of self-discovery. Through it all, I've found allies in unexpected places. The authors whose works line these shelves, they've been silent mentors, teaching me the craft through their words. Online communities of indie developers and artists have offered guidance, sometimes harsh, but always valuable. But it's the personal connections that have truly sustained this journey. My eldest sister, who saw potential in my early drafts and pushed me to dig deeper, fellow aspiring authors who shared their own struggles and triumphs, even the quiet support of past professors, colleagues, and clients. This project has become more than just an early onset retirement dream. It's a reflection of my growth as a person. Each aspect informs the others, creating a synergy that continues to surprise me. The discipline required for writing has bled into my approach to game design. The visual thinking needed for concept art has enhanced my descriptive prose. I won't pretend this journey has been easy or that I haven't questioned my choices along the way, but there's a profound satisfaction in creating something that exists in multiple dimensions. Words, visuals, interactive experiences. It's a talent I'm still honing, still struggling with, but one that's become an integral part of who I am. This is more than just writing a book or making a game. It's about the relentless pursuit of bringing a dream, both literal and figurative, into reality, using every tool and skill at my disposal. And in that pursuit, I've discovered parts of myself I never knew existed, long before retirement ever comes knocking.